Well, Dave, let me ask you a question right here. Yes. What's the last movie you saw? I haven't been to the movies in so long. I was going to go see... Um, I'm, I mean, I'm probably going to go see a movie real soon, but... Well, just um, name a movie that you saw recently, in the last 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, just name a movie. Um, um, Hidden Figures. Okay, Hidden Figures. You, you did know, you like so, it? So, let me, so, no, real quick. The, the story in Hidden Figures. Okay, one of the women in Hidden Figures worked with my dad wow. on developing a computer language. Yeah, which Fortran. I hadn't, you know that story. Yes, of course I know that story. Okay, because... Um, and I didn't know that story until I went to that movie. Actually, you know what? That's not even... Well, it is in the last 10 years. Because I think it's the last movie I saw with my dad before he died. Um, but it was one of the last ones for sure. And he was out and he was just smiling. He goes, I know her. I go, really? He goes, yeah, we worked on Fortran together. Wow. So, so, so... Okay. So, that, so right, anyway, so that, that's my movie. Hidden right, Figures. Hidden Figures, Dave. Did you like okay. it? Oh, uh, yeah, it was great. Okay. All right. Would you watch it again this coming Friday? If I had nothing else going on, I would love to watch it again this coming Friday, but okay. I'm not going to. All right. And then because I because I because I have to watch SmackDown. Okay, but here's my point. If you watch this Friday, would you like to watch it the following Friday? No. How about the not Friday the, after that? <laughs> I know where you're going. No. Okay. No, no. This I, is maybe, the same fucking show, Dave, every week. So, so is I Ra. see the same matches so, so over. Is I know. Over so, and so, over. So, so and is Ra. Now, over. Now, and now, over and over again. Okay. Now, last Monday's Raw, I have to say, last Monday's Raw was different than usual, but usually Raw, to me, feels like it's the same show as the week before. SmackDown, um, SmackDown it, wasn't it wasn't so much the same matches, but it was the same show. It's Dude, like they, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn had a great match. Absolutely. But, bro, how many times am I going to see these two guys in the ring together? Okay. We got Baron Corbin and Nakamura coming up next week. We got Bailey going up against Bianca Belair again at the pay-per-view. Well, this is an I quit match, Roman so Reigns and so Edge okay. were feuding all the way to WrestleMania. They're having another match. Dude, I've seen this show a hundred fucking times. Okay, now I got a question. Why is Jimmy Uso Jey Uso with, like, no reason? Well, because they went as far as they could with Jey Uso, but they have to do the same show every week, so now they're doing it with his twin. Yeah. I mean, I'm watching that. That's the most fascinating thing. It's like Jey Uso just disappeared, and now Jimmy Uso is just Jey Uso. I don't know. But that's my point. Like, I thought that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn had a really, really good match. They worked their asses off. I have, I have all the respect in the world for all the wrestlers, but I can only watch the same show so many times before I completely it is impossible for me to care about these shows. Yeah. I've got to have something new. Okay, but 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 like like with Baron Corbin, they are you know that you know they are doing something new with him. I mean, they're, they, they are. are. He's facing Nakamura next week. Yeah, yeah. You I've know, seen no. that match fifteen times. No, but they're they're he's going to be he's changing from. This Baron Corbin to the guy he's doing, you know, who lost all his money in the stock market or whatever, and now he's broke and they repossess his car, and he's going to transition to being Happy Corbin. So um, they are doing something. It's, it's funny because when I saw the Happy Corbin, it's kind of like at the about the same time that I saw the um, that you, you saw the like the wording for the new writers and everything, like sophisticated storylines and all this. I'm going, what the. F Sophisticated I, I, I can't lines. even believe that they put that out. That was like a that was like a comedy bit. I mean, I mean, it's like it's like when was the last sophisticated storyline that they've done? I think probably U.S. versus Canada, and that was <laughs> that was nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, well, that that probably was yeah, and that was before they had a writing team. Yeah, that was just crazy. How that that was just Jim Cornette, Vince Russo, and Vince McMahon. That was it. Hmm. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.